Hey everybody, how's it going? With the popular HBO series Lovecraft Country, we at HN decided to cover characters and concepts from this show leading up to the season finale which airs on October 18th, 2020. Described as some as a horror drama, others might call it a fantasy thriller, this series is about a young black man, Atticus, who travels across the segregated 1950s US in search of his missing father, learning along the way dark secrets plaguing a town on which famous horror writer H.P. Lovecraft supposedly based the location of many of his fictional tales. In this installment of Lovecraft Country Annotated, we'll be focusing on the Metamorphosis Potion. Now this was introduced in the fifth episode called Strange Case, and in this episode Ruby wakes up in the body of a white woman, which after some time is revealed to be the work of a magical potion from Christina and William. Now, this allows Ruby the opportunity to understand not only how ignorant and racist certain individuals act behind closed doors, but it also gives her the ability to obtain her dream job, which before wasn't possible due to her skin tone. William explains the concept behind the potion is metamorphosis in a way not unsimilar to a butterfly. Essentially, the potion allows her to live a new life for a limited time through forming a chrysalis body based upon their cells. When the time period of the potion runs out, the person undergoes a molting-like process, which allows their original body to rip out of the chrysalis. This is shown to be extremely painful during the first instance, but described as more manageable as the user adjusts to it over time. And when the user molts their chrysalis body, the process is involuntary and grotesque. However, with proper timing, a user can consume more of the potion to extend the so-called chrysalis. The creation of the potion within the TV series, as of this recording, is still 100% a secret, however they did show that they basically used the blood of a human host individual, which can either be a dead individual, someone in a coma, or someone, for all intents and purposes, that's alive. However, it's, you know, it's an interesting situation because in the show, it was created by William, but seemingly perfected by Christina. And that's how Christina, and this is a spoiler alert, so if you haven't seen the show far enough to not care about being spoiled, you know, please turn away, come back later after being caught up on the series. But Christina uses this potion to transform into William after William is essentially killed. Now, through the basically doing this, the location of the body is placed in Christina's basement, which explains the mystery of why for a lot of the show, Christina and William never really appeared at the same time in the same location. And it also explains why in Christina's mansion, the only locked door is the door that goes to the basement. Now, essentially what is happening is that Christina has placed not only William, but also Dell, who is a member of Artem's community, basically in a stasis to help preserve their bodies more to use their blood for the potion. And this would explain how Ruby's transformation, I mean, they show it in the show after a few episodes, but it essentially explains why Ruby doesn't just transform into, let's say the Caucasian version of herself, but she transforms into a specific Caucasian woman. And it's all based on the blood. Now, this is really interesting because in the book, Christina is actually a man named Caleb and Caleb creates a potion with the blood of a preserved body. Now, the location of this body, just like in the TV show, is also in the basement, which kind of explains the whole mystery. So, all in all, it's pretty cool. Now, in terms of how this might be used further in the show, we don't know, but it's interesting to note that essentially any character, for all intents and purposes, can continue to live in a lot of ways. And my personal theory is that you know, supposedly they saw Atticus's future in terms of him dying, but it's very possible that someone, whether it's Atticus's father or some other individual, will use this potion to disguise himself as Atticus, which would, one, give off the appearance of Atticus dying and sacrificing himself, but also at the same time, if Atticus was supposed to be used as a vessel for another ritual, as has been hinted, obviously it wouldn't go correctly because it's not truly Atticus, in that body or in that chrysalis so to speak so leave your comments down below what do you guys think about the metamorphosis potion and any potential applications of future episodes leave your comments down below hopefully it's not one of those spam comments and we'll see you later